What's up, YouTube? 19, 19, 19, 11, Black Steel. Uh, this video is on a couple things. I'm going to try to do this as nice and uh, as humble as I can. Say good morning. Say hello to YouTube, all right? So, yeah, this is what I do. We do, do big dogs. The reason I'm showing you the dogs because it didn't get slide bit by a gun. Um, it was actually a dog bite. But anyway, moving right along. I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. Let me get in my little favorite chair here. Uh, Good morning, it's morning time, guys and ladies. All right. Also, this gun has already been safety checked. You know, 1911 is not going to do safety checks because I do this one-handed. Guns are already safety checked before I do the videos. And uh, I used to be a firearm instructor in law enforcement, so uh, we're not. I'm, I'm not here to teach you how to be safe with a gun. I'm just here to show you. The guns that I think work, should you spend your money on them, so forth and so forth. Today I'm doing the video on, this is for my 9mm fans, okay? I know I say a lot of st stuff about my 9mm fans. I can do that because I have several calibers uh, from stemming from 9mm all the way up to the 50A and everything in between. 44 Magnum, 357 Magnum, uh, my HK 40. Uh, a lot of you guys know or have been following me knows I'm a 1911 guy. I have over 15 1911s. One of them, my Springfield Trophy match, I have never even shot. I won't shoot it. No need to shoot it. Uh, the answer to the other guy who did a remark was, uh, why did I send my 1911 loaded back to the manufacturer, Springfield? And to answer your question, my dude, it was very simple. Back then when I bought it in 14, the plastic holster scratched it so maybe you didn't catch that on the video that's the second one that i bought and now and that's, that's why i was doing the video you know and i'm explaining to you like get you a nice leather holster keep scratches off your gun you know i don't like scratches on my expensive stuff now a glock i don't you know so it's a, it's a workhorse but anyway this is for my nine millimeter guys how do you know that a glock is uh empty for those of you who may not know you know, I've been doing, doing how many, oh shit, uh, probably close to 10 years, if I'm not mistaken, of uh, uh, video. So, you know, it's, it's easy to get complacent. And, you know, some guys don't know about stuff. So I'm going to try to go through this really quickly. So uh, for you Glock novice or, you know, you're thinking about buying a Glock, how you know, trigger's in the back position, and you have an indicator right there. Boom. All right. It's a Glock 17. The only changes that I did to this Glock is the back straps that comes with the Gen 4. As you can see, I put the extended uh, beaver tail on mine. It, it, you know, it's, it's me muscle memory. You know, my Desert Eagles have it. My uh, 44, my 50 AE have the extended beaver tail. The 1911, of course, comes that way. You know, you have different size beaver tails. But anyway, it's, it's muscle memory, guys. Things that I like about the Glock, they work, number one. This is a gun you can buy pre-owned. And yes, what is this, guys? What is this? Nine millimeter. Can you believe I'm doing a video on nine millimeters? I carry the Glock 17 uh, over my 19, which I also have that one. The reason being for my hand size is the 17 is long enough and, and nothing's wrong with the 19 i have to use uh what do you call that i'm drawing a blank it's early in the morning it goes on on the mag guys you know what it is because i just drew a blank uh, fill the blank in for me for the people that don't know so anyway it does uh <clears throat> golly and it's cold outside ain't it guys Whew. but anyway um this is the Glock 19. It's a Gen 4. The only difference between the Gen 4s and the Gen 3 are the uh, checkering on the grips. And it comes with the uh, steel guide rod. Really, that's about it. There's no other major changes other, other than the ability to switch the mag release for righty to lefty. Um, what else do I want to say about the Glock 17? Oh, anyway... 
Is the is the nine millimeter my favorite cartridge? Mm, would I take it over my Glock 20, Glock 21? No, I wouldn't. I like a heavy hitting uh, rounds. But there's nothing wrong to nine millimeter. Law enforcement is going to the nine millimeter. But guys, whatever gun you get, you know I've been saying this from day one. Um, practice with it. Don't be an accidental shooter. This is a pretty much a dedication video to my 19, nine millimeter fans, and I know it's a ton of Glock fans out there. <clears throat> um, let me say this real quick, and I'm not, this is not going to be a long video, but um, guys, I don't know if I said this clear or not. Give me an example. I was watching a video of a little girl who had, she was making six or seven adult pit bulls sick, and there's people doing a thumbs down on that. I'm like, can you even make a Yorkie sick? I mean, for real. The people that are saying negative stuff, they couldn't even make a squirrel sick. Do you see what I'm saying? That's amazing. That little girl has no fear. If you're a first-time gun buyer, you know, you cannot go wrong with a, a Glock, new or used. The difference is about 100 bucks, maybe, depending on where you're buying it from. But you can rest assured, if, if it's used, it'll work. If it's brand spanking new, it'll work. So if you're like, okay, I need a good gun for self-defense and home protection, um, it ain't going to break the bank to shoot. As a matter of fact, I was actually stunned when I was picking up ammo. That the nine millimeter rounds, you get a box of fifty where I'm at for eight ninety nine. Can you believe that, guys? Eight ninety nine for a box of fifty. I don't, I don't know if it was a uh, just a sale going on or what, but I snatched me up some boxes. That's for sure. Anyway, uh, that's about it. You know, this is mine. There's, you know, my tag receipt. It's not borrowed. Nineteen eleven. Don't borrow other people's stuff and then make a video on it when I don't know nothing about it. Feel me? Been shooting now for over, almost three decades. Really close to it. Maybe two and a half years shy off of three decades. So I'm kind of getting old here, guys. But you can't go wrong with the Glock. Um, very lightweight. I can seal this very easily, dudes. Nice leather in the waistband holster. And never see it. Never see it. Quiet, girl. I know, you want to talk to YouTube some more. But this is 19, 19, 11. I got to get my morning started. I got to get going. This is just a video, basically a shout out to my 9mm guys because I know I, I do a lot of videos on big caliber guns and I think I've been leaving you guys out of the loop. Some of you think I don't even like the 9mm. Oh, my last thing, I'm going to say this. Like when I was doing the videos on the 44 Magnums, I was talking to my revolver guys. So if I'm doing a video on revolvers and you're clicking on it, you know, and you're not already a, a, a subscriber to my channel, I'm talking to the guy that maybe his favorite gun is a, is a revolver and that's what he's thinking about buying. But if I'm on there bashing it and talking about a SIG and, and the subtitle is revolver, I can throw this, this guy off. You understand that? I've, I Also, I'm the first person... If you can read between the lines to run a gun store in Georgia, the hiring, the firing, ordering, everything, range officer, the whole nine. And trust me, I took this store from one of the low end stores and, I, and we did. We were breaking record number sales when I walked through the door. I don't I don't do stuff half ass. I don't lose, buddy. I don't lose. Well, anyway, this 191911 Black Steel, and to that little lovely lady, I'm going to say this as humbly and as nicely as I can. Guys, I'm biting my teeth right now. <clears throat> that, that scar on my hand, not sly bite. Don't believe everything you read. You know, that was actually a dog bite. A dog I was training was uh, being attacked by my neighbor's dog, and I went to grab his collar and... I got tagged. That was that scar right there. But anyway, as you can see, this is what we do. Last comment was uh, that I wanted to address nicely and humbly. You know, it's always got to be a smart, you know what, in the mix. Got to be a genius around, right? When I said, which one would you rather get shot with? What I was meaning to say is, it's like, <clears throat> give you an example. You want to get bit by Big Boy here, who's a 180-pound bull mastiff? Or the pit bull. They both are going to hurt. Big boy will kill you. Make no mistake about it. Would you rather get bit by a pit bull or a Yorkie? 
Would, would you rather get shot with a 44 Magnum or a 22? If you had to get shot, I'd take my chances with a 22 all day long. Nothing against a 22, but pff, I'm not going to get into that debate because that's, to me, clownish. That's foolishness. A 44 Magnum will knock you out your Chuck Taylors. Period. You, you, you pretty much cancel Christmas. <sighs> now, <clears throat> it's morning time. <clears throat> I'm about to go enjoy my lovely cigar here and train some dogs and make some more money. You guys have an awesome day. Shout out to my 9mm fans. Yes, Sig's a great 9mm too. But this video is on the Gen 4 Glock 17, not a Sig. Alright, so if you're thinking about buying a Glock, go with the 19, that's a good op. You know, if that's how you want to roll. But it's all, it's all in personal preference and how you want to roll. You see what I'm saying? Can't go wrong. You know, if it fits good in your hand and you're practicing with it, psh, buy it. <clears throat> Don't borrow other people's guns. Buy it, formulate your own opinion on it, and go from there. All right? Shout out to my Glock 17 guys. Hell, we all know it's a good gun. Tell the rest of the world. Right? Tell them what time it is. I'm out.